this evening, the Fort Yard High School Big Red football team of 1952. Bye. Uh -huh. 
High School in Port Grant Northern. Todd Sass? Yes. Anything to say? Well, just a few key game notes of mention tonight that the Big Reds will be without star running back Sean Haskins, who, as many of you may know, is ineligible of for tonight's game. And also a big defensive change for the Big Reds that they will be going to also a nickel defense for some of the downs in tonight's game, which basically they'll be using five down linemen, one linebacker, and five defensive backs. And also a nice congratulations to the 1952 championship undefeated state championship team of the Big Reds. Yes, right below us tonight. Decided to take a nice seat. It's more of a college atmosphere to tonight's game. A lot of excitement in the air. And to use all those great sayings, you, the electricity, you can cut it with a knife. Definitely, definitely. You think of Thomas Edison playing was running right below the stadium, so electric in here tonight. Well, the Huskies won the toss. They deferred to the second half, so the Big Reds will get the ball. And number 20, John Hoffman, and number 10, Marty Prevost, are back deep for the Big Reds. And you all know the kicker for the Huskies is Sean. The Eagle has landed Eagle, the most deadliest special teams kicker since Eddie Murray on Tech Mobile. Very good, very good. Well, Eagle sets the ball up kind of strange on the tee. Tries to get a little bit of a knuckleball off. Hopefully, hoping that it bounces dead and Hus the Huskies maybe can get the ball. We're just about set to go, ladies and gentlemen. The ref's got his hand in the air. Eagle's got his hand in the air. Runs in, kicks in, raw. Bouncer ball. Bouncing all over the place. Out of the hands of Nick Brown. Everyone's all over. Let's get a sign from the refs. He's got this one. I mean, that's why Eagles set that ball on the tee so funny. Get a funny bounce there. That'd been a huge break for the Huskies to recover on the opening kickoff there. But the Big Reds do get the ball on the 30 yard line. Well, Nick Brown's not exactly someone you expect to fumble that ball, but the ball took a weird bounce. Just as it was, he thought the ball was going to go into his hands, it went away from him. Capacity crowds on both sides tonight. Big crowd, probably well over 2,500 people in the stadium tonight. We're set to go. Back to Prevost. He's gonna throw. He's got a wide open receiver. Got it! Nice play by the Big Reds. That's the kind of start they needed, Todd. Wow, huge play. It's looking like a little rollout by Marty Prevost, who's in at quarterback. I guess something worth taking note of, Ty, that play came from the single wing. Yes. And the secondary sort of came up a little bit, giving Toffman plenty of time to get open past Jeff Cowley for the huge gain down on the Husky 21. Gotta wonder if the Huskies expected the Big Reds to come out in this offensive set. People's got the ball again, inside handoff. That time the ball went to number 13, Joe Benito. He got a gain of around five or six to bring up second down. Okay, nice job by the Big Reds offensive line to get a good push up the middle. Backs carry out their face well. Benito, nice running up the middle of the Husky defense for a gain of seven yards. And right now the Big Reds are coming out on these gangbusters here. Yes, they are. They need to get on the board here right away. Show the Huskies that they came to play tonight. Second down and two, ball on the 14 yard line of Northern. I don't know where the ball is at. Touchdown, Big Reds. Touchdown, Big Reds, though. Looking at number 42, Tom Wagner. Wow, Ty. If the Huskies were looking past the Big Reds right at the beginning of the game, but you really can't say they should be now. They just ran the ball right down their throat for the touchdown. Holy cow, and holy Fleeto in Cincinnati, Batman. Well, the Huskies after this opening drive by the Big Reds, which I might, add, might I add was very, very impressive. Better wake up and smell the diesel fumes and the blue bus is going to leave town without them. The Big Reds call timeout here. 
And the key play on this opening drive for the Big Reds was a long pass from Marty Prevost to John Hoffman. And two plays later, Tom Wagner took it in for the touchdown. I have to say, the Big Reds look mighty impressive in this opening drive tonight. Well, Todd, the Big Reds do only come into this game with one victory, but in crosstown rival games like this, you might as well take the records and throw them out the submarine window and watch them float to the Sharks because they don't mean a darn thing. As number 16, Brad Bullen will kick the extra point for the Big Reds out of the hold of John Hoffman. Blocked. Ollie Mitchell got that one, Todd. Because it seemed like they waited just seemed like they waited an eternity to kick that extra point, but nevertheless, Big Reds go up 6-0 over the Huskies. I guess a note worth making, Todd. The Huskies have won nine in a row at Memorial Stadium, somewhat of a Miami Hurricane streak going. They're going for the tenth row at home and on channel six and also looking for their 12th consecutive victory over Fort Huron High School. So, when you say that, when you say there's a lot at stake at this game, that's not the whole story. Well, the kicker for the Big Reds is Marty Prevost. It was very important on that last drive for the Big Reds, setting everything up with that nice 35-yard pass to John Hoffman. And back deep for the Huskies, Justin Mulberg, Matt Warren, and Ken Nelson. All very dangerous return men. That opening drive somewhat put some pressure on the Huskies to get some points on the board. Warren's got this one. Looking for some blocking, finds a hole. Good Big Red special teams though. They take him down as he crosses the 30 yard line. That's when Brian Henderson and his crew will come out and go to work. A real key here for both teams would probably be this drive because if the Huskies really can't mount any sort of drive here in this opening possession, they'll probably put most of the momentum on the Big Red side. And the Huskies really don't want to get down here in this huge crosstown rival game. Definitely not. Joe Fry and Chris Madden are the receivers. Jeremy Lumen is a wing back. Hand off to Tommy Taylor, the fullback. Run smack dab right in the middle of two Big Reds, number 30. Guy not on our sheet. <laughs> Famous words from Todd and I. Bubba bringing down Taylor. Second down and six. Whoever he was, that was a good play though. Yes, very nice play by the Big Red defense there. Seven, the Ghost out over the ball for the Huskies. Endo Henderson, the quarterback. Nelson and Malberg, the wingbacks this time. New receivers, Shock and Polak. Vesky in at fullback. He has the handoff. Goes right, turns the corner. No. Ooh, nice tackle. He's brought down by number 42, Tom Wagger. That'll well, bring up a very, very important early, early third down play here. Third down and three on the Huskies' own 38 yard line. As it looks like the Big Reds are playing very close to the line tonight, so the Huskies, whatever they have to do, is we have to materialize downfield has to be in the works right here. Malberg in motion, two-step drop by Henderson. He wants Polak, I think he has the first down forward progress. Just depends on the spot. He's ridden out of bounds by number 87, Ron Bradley. Excuse me, that was Joe Fry on the catch there, sorry. It is a first down for the Huskies, so that's a big play early on for Northern. Nice job of Henderson, little three-step drop, finding Fry in the out pattern. Pass was put only where Fry could catch it, and his forward progress got him enough for the first down. And the Huskies keep their opening drive alive here. With that first touchdown, the Big Reds put the skunk on the table, and it's up to the Huskies to respond here. Play Play action. Henderson bootlegs, keeps it himself. Nice open field tap, tackle by Tom Wagger.
That almost looked like a design play there, Ryan, as Henderson play action rolled to his right and just ran off tackle. Nice job by Tom Wagger to make the open field tackle, as you stated. Well, kind of reminds you somewhat of the play that they used to run with Troy Schneider a year ago, where he turned the corner. And Henderson, though, not quite as speedy as Mr. Schneider, but adequate. Yeah, sort of. Pretty good. Man and Fry, the receivers. Hand off to Taylor. Big He's got hole. Nice blocking. Good job there, Taylor. So he has the first down, and he does by about a yard and a half. Over the 50 yard line ball, approximately on the Big Reds 47. You have to give the Hosses up front Josh Rawlings, Matt Hunwick, Roy Bishop, and Ron Plant. If I forgot anybody else, huge hole for Tommy Taylor. Ran right up the gut of the Big Red defense and got the first down. And basically, if the Husky can't ball control and push the Big Reds down the field, it could be a long game for the Big Reds. But they are on top, 6 0. Well, here we go, first and 10 on the 47. Henderson rolls, wants to throw. He's going downfield to Polak. Oh, geez, he almost had it. Flags are down. We're going to have pass interference. Regardless. It looked like Ron, it. Ron Bradley wasn't looking for the ball. He was, he knew he was burnt. He knew that Polak was behind him, so he basically ran into him. That'll give the Huskies first down. Nearly a good catch by Polak, who almost corralled that one. I almost bet Pa Ingles Homestead that it's pass interference, though. I think Pa would be proud. in high school and college, it's only 15 yards, but it's good enough for a Husky first down. And it's definitely not what the Big Reds wanted. And number 35, John Tortorillo checks in the game in the defensive backfield for the Big Reds. Huskies in their vaunted run and shoot. Hand off to Taylor, he's getting nice oh, block. Oh, huge hole. Front. Enormous hole, just like Todd said. Have been more on the mark earlier, Todd, when you said the Hosses up front are getting the job done. Yes, again, nice hole off the left side of the line for the Huskies for Tommy Taylor. Also, nice, nice block by the wingback Justin Malberg. We're going to measure this one, Todd. I think looking it may just be about a millimeter short. We'll find out. Or maybe half the football over. It's another first down for the Huskies. What was that comment you used to always make about the measurements, Todd? Most exciting playing football. Yes. And Husky first down. Well, the ball is on the big red 22 yard line, first and 10 for Northern. Big Reds really need to get a pass rush going here, or just a blitz maybe to stop the run. vesky has got the ball this time, going left. Mike Looks to me like the Huskies have found a weak spot in the Big Red defense. And that may be the left side of the Big Red defense, who seems to be where having the most success, right? And nice tackle by number 54, Mike Gross, from his linebacker position to save any more yards from Mavetsky's run. But again, the Huskies are playing ground chuck in the early going of this game. I think old Chuck would be proud, too. I think he would. Well, if the Big Reds are going to move the ball like they did in that first drive, the Huskies want to have the ball in their possession as long as possible. Another handoff to Taylor. Oh, good job there by number 45. Man not on our list. That Mystery same, that, men. That same guy. Mystery men are on fire tonight. I don't know, whoever he was. He looked Wyatt Earp and his immortals running through the Husky line. Big Red Terminator. That was good. As it's third and one for the Huskies. Another big third down play here. Fade pattern. Todd Sass calls the fade pattern. We'll see. I'm going to go with the bootleg in the fade. It is a bootleg. He's got oh, jeez. Wide open. He's going to take it in. Oh, touchdown, geez. Huskies. Good call there. All hail Ryan Relkin right there. He called the bootleg. Well, Todd, that 
was excellent execution there. Malberg and Henderson were on the same page totally. They were both reading Charles Dickens' Great Expectations or something because they both were exactly on the same page expecting a touchdown. That's what they got. Yes, again, nice play action by the Huskies. Big Red's defense shifting to the right, excuse me, the left in the play action, leaving the right side of the field wide open as Malberg just caught that one. It was easy pickings for the touchdown. As Matt Warren will do the kicking. Snap the kick. It's it good. good. Huskies lead 7-6 with 5.07 left in the first quarter. Excellent job by the Huskies of marching right down the field. Not letting a nail hit him in the eye. Being the one shot by the Big Reds. Just an arrow in the eye. But if these two first drives were any indication of what tonight's game is going to be, we could have a major slugfest here. Well, if it is, Todd, we're going to have a lot of fun tonight. A lot of fun. It's going to be probably one of the most fun games we've ever announced. Like I said earlier, records are thrown out the submarine window when it comes to games like this. Sharks ate those a long time ago. Hungry Sharks. And a different kicker for the Huskies right now, Rob Rowling. Got me off by that. Party on the Eagles, Eagles landed, Eagles it's landed on the bench, I, so it seems. No, he's on special team, just not kicking. That's number 41 on the return. Fumble. Dave Tanty. Ball's loose right on the 40, Todd. Looks like the Huskies might Let's have it. They have it. Josh Rowling's going buck. They do. They do. What a play. That's huge, Todd. Again, just like on the opening kickoff, it almost got away from Nick Brown, and it did, but the big guys were lucky to recover. Again, it's those nice knuckleball kicks. Can he recover? And it had a nice return going, but fumbled the ball, and it gives the Husky great field position on the big red 41-yard line. That could be huge, Todd. You have to win the battle of the turnovers. The team with the most turnovers loses most games. It's up to the Big Red defense now. They're going to have to come up big. Mike Gross and the boys are going to have to go wild out there. First and 10 for the Huskies on the Big Red 41 yard line. Lumen in motion. One step drop. He's going for Madden. He's got him. Puts a foot out of bounds. There was the, I think you could call it a fade kind of time. Yes, nice execution. Henderson, quick pass. Again, he and Madden on the same page. It looks like Henderson is on all firing on all cylinders. Perfect pass lofted over the big red defensive back's hands. And nice catch by Madden for the first down. That was almost like clay shooting. Threw the clay thing in the air. Madden just ran under it, did a good job of getting to it. First and 10 for the Huskies on the 20 yard line after the 21 yard pass to Madden. Dean Polak and Mark Schock are the receivers for the Huskies. The handoff to Medvesky, going left. Big Reds do a good job of getting there. First guy there was number 72, guy on our list. That's Chad Bowers. And Chris Rogers on the tackle for the Nice job by the Big Red defensive line to get some penetration there. Bowerson shedding his block and tackling Medvesky for minimal gain. Reporting in on the Big Red defense, Jim Smedley, number 53. Second down and eight for the Huskies on the 18 yard line of the Big Reds. Henderson under center. And off to Taylor Fumble. Big, Big Reds, Reds recover. Big Reds have it, there we go. Goes around, comes around. Big Reds get that one back. Again, that looked like man myth legend Chad Bowerson on the fumble recovery as Taylor coughed it up. If we had instant replay, Todd, we could show the fans out there that it wasn't a clean handoff by Henderson. Michael down on the ball for the big red. Step And even if Taylor would have got the ball, he would have been smeared in the backfield anyways. But as it is, Big Reds have the ball now finally on their own 20-yard line. 80 yards to go to pay dirt. And a handoff to Tom Wagger right there. Seppo into the game. Looks like they're now using a quarterback. Tom Wagger, the ball carrier for the big red. 
again, looks like the use of the single wing might be confusing the Huskies here. I don't think the Huskies expected Port Huron High School to be using that what many people call outdated offensive look at all, but I think the way that Coach Jim Rathy has used it tonight and employed it is the proper way to use it. It's very, very confusing to see, and you don't, most times you do not know where the ball is at. Right now, though, looks like a bl blitz from the Huskies as like they're sending everybody. Legs all over the place. There's a long snap count by Seppo. I think he was trying to get the Huskies to jump off sides. Instead, he got one of his men on the offensive line to move. Maybe five yards. And number 12, Rob Rowling checks out for the Huskies. And number 14, Jason Fletcher checks in. Send them all again, Todd. Inside handoff. It was a prevost. The Huskies doing some of their vintage moves there. Collie showed blitz, then dropped back into coverage. And that's also a very dangerous play, even though the Huskies used it very well against the Eagles of Eisenhower. It's because, like Penn State against Michigan, kept blitzing the safety in the second half. It hurt them, so. Gotta kind of be careful when you blitz that safety because it leaves no one back there in the defensive backfield. Remember, John Hoffman hurt the Huskies earlier on, so keep an eye on him. Pebos wants to throw. Hoffman's going long. Hit as he throws. Pick, picked picked off. off. Oh, oh no. no. Almost an outstanding one-handed interception by Matt Warren. Ball just bounced out of his hands as he hit the ground. That's caused by the pressure. I believe that was Lou Robish. This nice job by the Huskies to break up that throw as Ropish and number 36, Mike Kasdorf, had pressure on Marty Prevost. Third down and 14 for the Big Reds. Third and 14. Steve Markle split wide for the Big Reds. They're in the single wing. Straight back to Prevost, inside handoff. Nowhere to go. Stopped dead in his tracks by a host of Huskies, including Jason Fletcher. Young man inserted into the starting lineup for tonight's game. And the Husky defense adjusting very well to the Big Reds running attack. His last couple runs by the Big Reds have been for little or no gain. A point worth noting, Todd, that first touchdown by the Big Reds ended the Huskies' eight consecutive scoreless quarter streak. Yes. Low snap. Kicks a liner. Bounces once, twice. Huskies get out of the way down by the Big Reds, right around the 39 yard line of the Huskies, and that's where Brian Henderson will bring his troops back out onto the field. What interesting turnabout there, Todd. The turnovers. Yes, again, as you stated earlier in the game, turnovers will kill you. If you have more, more, more turnovers than the other team, you'll probably 75% of the time lose the game. And also flags, those penalties will also kill you too. Seems to me, Todd, that the only time I've ever seen a team that turned the ball over less than their opponent lose is Michigan, Colorado. Hand off to Taylor. Ooh, he was stuck right there. He's met after about a gain of one. Mike Gross, the big guy out there for the or excuse me for the Big Reds defense. Also, number 44, Carl Williams, on the tackle. As the frantic pace that started tonight's game has slowed itself down just a bit. I don't think we'll be seeing any 45 to 40 shootouts tonight. No, I don't think so. It could turn into a defensive battle quicker than you can say. I don't know. Straight drop by Henderson. He's got pressure. He's going long. He's got two guys out there. Ken Nelson dropped it. Right through his hands and dropped it, a la Herman Moore. That'll bring about third down. 
I guess that pass was just underthrown. Well, really, it was underthrown, but Nelson should have made the catch. As he and another wide receiver, the Huskies were both downfield on that side of the field. But that was a catchable ball. For the Huskies. Ryan Madden and Justin Malberg and Ken Nelson are, excuse me, Jeremy Lumen, the receivers, Todd, move in motion. They're in, your, they're in your four receiver look. Mm. Screen to Lumen. Lots of room if he can get going. Oh, he cut inside. He should have stayed outside on that. He's going to be close to the first down. They just be a little bit short. But at the end of the first quarter, the Port Huron Northern Huskies have the 7-6 lead over the Port Huron High Big Reds, and we'll be right back.